Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Adriana Carpati with Foot and Ankle Associates of North Texas on a pretty nice evening to talk to you about some pretty cool stuff. Um, it's called Wharton's Jelly. Uh, not Jell-O, though that's some pretty good stuff too. Uh, Wharton's Jelly. It is a form of regenerative medicine. Uh, and for those who aren't familiar with regenerative medicine, it's the practice of, that involves giving you what your body needs to heal itself and it's especially that I've embraced in my own practice. It has basically made a big difference in the way that I approach healing. I'm a big fan and a big believer in our body's capacity to heal. We all want our foot and ankle aches and pains to go away quickly, um, but sometimes they just don't. So what can we do to maximize the potential for our own bodies to heal? Well, that's where Wharton's Jelly comes into play. Um, what is this stuff? Basically, it comes from the fluid of umbilical cords of consenting moms, and it is pretty powerful. When I inject this into the injured area, it basically recruits a concentrated army of your own healing cells to that area. And once they get there, the Wharton's Jelly tells your army of cells to start making what they need to make in that area to help that area heal. And this stuff also gives them the growth factors and proteins to help them do it. Wharton's Jelly is pretty powerful. And because it's concentrated, your cells are being given every and greater chance to get the job done. You might be concerned about potential reaction or allergy. Um, know that be because it comes from amniotic fluid, um, the potential for an allergic reaction or rejection is minimal to none because Wharton's jelly hasn't had the chance to develop what could cause an allergy in your own body. And uh, this is what makes it very safe. Um, is Wharton's jelly right for you? Well, if you've had a in recent injury and you're interested in giving your body the best capacity to heal, um, or maybe you've had some pain for a while and you're feeling like you just might need surgery, uh, then this may be just what keeps you out of the operating room, and I am certainly happy to help you do just that. 